Men don't talk about their mental health enough. It's okay to ask one of the brothers if he's okay, and it's okay to tell one of the brothers that you're not feeling okay. And look, someone who has had some real battles with mental health over the years, this is definitely a topic that I am quite passionate about. In my experience, just talking about it and putting it out there is the hardest part. And putting it out there is what lets the healing process start faster. If you add in the extra pressure of becoming a new dad, which I've just gone through fairly recently, it makes it even more important to make sure that you've got yourself in a good spot upstairs. Today we're talking mindset and mental health tips for new dads. I've actually got five tips for you that's really going to make it easier with your mental health and mindset coming into this new process of being a new dad. Tip one is to embrace the chaos and adjust your expectations. Tip two is to practice self-care and mindfulness. Tip number three is to seek support. Tip number four is balancing work, family, and self-care. Tip number five is to build the resilience for overcoming all the challenges. So I'm Stephen Bradley from Grizzly Functional Training, and I have, in the last year, become a new dad. And it dawned on me that there's a lot of things out there that guys just aren't being prepared for and aren't necessarily aware of. I was diagnosed with bipolar at 18 years old, so I had a whole lot of challenges to overcome through my early 20s. I found a whole lot of little workarounds and tips that really helped helped me get myself back on the straight and narrow. And a lot of these things that I worked on with my mental health really set me up for future challenges in my life, like becoming a new dad. So now let's break down tip number one, embrace the chaos. Chaos is the new normal in the world of parenting. There's a whole lot of stuff that you just don't expect and would never expect to pop up at the worst times. Diaper blowouts, sleepless nights, toddler tantrums, they're all part of the package and there's no time frame. They turn up when they turn up. You just gotta learn to go with the flow and laugh at the unpredictable moments when they come up. Adjust your expectations and be kind to yourself during this transition. And to be honest, you can't really have too many expectations. You're a new dad, you've got a whole other little life to start looking out for now, and that's the priority. You can't really expect anything to go anyway. I got sick of hearing while my wife was pregnant, oh, enjoy your nights now, you're never gonna sleep again. And I kept saying to people, it's like, how do you know that? My daughter sleeps reasonably well. It was never really too much of an issue. We've had our other things we've had to juggle, but to be sitting there thinking, oh, I'm never gonna sleep again, you're setting yourself up to never sleep again. Every baby's different and you just can't prepare for that. Tip two, we need to practice self-care and even meditation. Prioritize sleep and do your best to establish a sleep routine. I know it can be hard, but having yourself a set bedtime every night really does pay off. Even if you still have to get up a few times during the night, but knowing your time you get to sleep makes a difference. Practice mindfulness and really focus on presence. Always being present in all of these moments. It all goes so fast. And find a healthy outlet to relieve stress, like exercise. That was a big part for me. My workouts became a whole lot smaller, but I still got my workouts in. Regular 15, 20 minute workouts is all it really took, just to give me that chance to kind of deload a little bit. And if you haven't already, now is the time to cut out the negative people in your life. You don't need the extra bullshit right now. Surround yourself with positive, like-minded people. Tip number three, nurture your relationships and don't don't be afraid to seek support. As a new dad, it's important to prioritize. Oi! As a new dad, it's important to prioritize your relationship with your partner. Most of the time, they're all that you've got for support, so you really need to make sure you're really solid there. Talk to her. Let her know little things before they become an issue and be there for her. Listen to the little things before they become an issue. If you guys are both aware of what you're struggling with, it's a whole lot easier to overcome those little things. And find yourself a network of dads. Surround yourself with other guys who can help you get through this, who you can pick their brains off, that you can ask questions and that you can then be in turn for the new batch of new dads coming through. Do your best to delegate responsibilities with your partner as well. When my daughter was born, because my wife had to do all of the feedings, I would do the nappy change and then pass the baby on for the feeding. Once she was all settled and ready to hop back in bed, I would then put baby back down into bed. Once we started integrating formula as well, it was a whole lot easier to sort of chop and change with everything. But make sure that you guys know your responsibilities and delegate them fairly. Pick up as much slack as you can. And guys, seek professional help if you need it. There is no shame in that. As I said at the start, don't talk enough and we need to change that. There is nothing wrong, there is nothing weak with saying I'm not okay. If you need help, reach out. Hell, if you really want to, reach out to me. You could message me through Facebook or Instagram, all my information is down in the description. Tip number four is about finding balance. 
finding balance between work, family, and your self-care. You need clear boundaries and you really need to prioritize family time and you time. Work comes last. Don't be afraid to delegate tasks at work as well. Ask for help there. You'll be surprised at how many people are keen to give you a bit of help and a bit of support if you just ask. And practicing effective time management is crucial as well. Use a journal, write it down, use your Google calendars. Just make sure you've got a little bit of structure in place as best you can. I know I was talking about embracing the chaos, but not everything has to be chaos. Where you can have structure, have structure, but be aware that there is a lot of chaos. And number five is all about building resilience to overcome challenges. Cultivate a growth mindset and embrace challenges as a chance for growth. Practice self-reflection because you can learn from both your successes and your failures. Write shit down, see where you got stuff wrong, see where you can do it better for next time. And develop healthy coping measures to deal with the stresses. Like I said, I had my exercise and once things weren't as hectic, I got back into jujitsu and that was great for me as well. Just to choke some people out and get over some of my frustration. And be realistic with all the goals moving forwards and how you break them down. Break everything down into manageable steps. Put everything in place, but put everything in place in a way that you can actually stick to it. Remember, this is a stressful, chaotic time. Don't put more burden on yourself if you don't have to. So I hope all of that has been some help. Predominantly my channel is all about fitness, nutrition, discipline, but I'm also very passionate about men's health and helping new dads get through their things. I got a whole lot more videos on my channel you can check out. Recently, I've been posting a lot about stuff for new dads, new dad workout routines, how to get more stuff done as a new dad, how to set realistic goals as a new dad. So check all those out too. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you're struggling with, and by all means, reach out. And before you go, get yourself your free copy of my ebook, Train Wherever the F*** You Want. This is really going to help you right now. Find the right balance with exercise, diet, and your discipline during this chaotic time. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next one.